Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. And today, I kind of thought, you know, does Skyrim have replay value? And that's the title of this video, is if, does Skyrim have replay value? Because Skyrim is a different Elder Scrolls game, and you have all your skills, but you're not, like, kind of locked in to your own skills. You know, you're not locked in, if you pick archery, that you don't have to level up archery to level your character up. You know, so you're not locked in, and... It's very, very kind of interesting to me. At first, I'm like, there's no way this game has replay value, you know? Because you pick your character, do your thing, you know, basically do everything with one character, then you play the game again, you know? That's kind of what you got to do. But I realized that Skyrim has this neat little thing it does where, let's say I, let's say I make a character and they use a sword, right? Or a one-handed sword and shield for the whole game, right? The whole game. Well, I didn't experience two-handed, or I know that I could have played my one-handed shield fighter better. So I have this information, you know, I did my one-handed shield fighter, but I could have done it better. So I replay the game with this new information. I kind of have better metas, and I can try out different things, you know? Now, okay, I'm really good with a sword and a shield. Maybe I swap to two swords or a mace and a shield. And I kind of branch out from there, and I realized that Skyrim has replay value, not just in the fact that you can experience quests differently, you know, based on how far you go with, you know, character, you know, stealth character, melee character. You know, it's kind of a little bit deeper where you play the game with one character, and you have the knowledge from playing that first character, then you go back and play with your second character then your third one, then your fourth one, and you start to experiment more and more, and you know, you have information on all these different ways to play it, and you start experimenting with those different ways to play Skyrim, and that's where Skyrim's replay value comes in. You know, because again, I was like, I, I think all of the characters I've had main one-handed, that's like their main skill is one-handed, and I still have fun using my one-handed and experimenting with different one-handed stats with different characters, you know, I like, it's rewarding to go through dungeons or quests again and again and again, not for the story, because you already know the story, but for the experience of using different characters through that story, you know, because I, I noticed, you know, even though there's really not a lot of things that go into leveling up that makes each character different, right, you have the race, their abilities, and whether you put points into health, stamina, or magic, right? That's really all you have for your characters, all that really keeps them different from each other. But there's still enough difference to where, like, oh, I used archery for 10 levels, now everything else sucks, and I gotta get better at it. Why not just start another character and do one-handed for 10 levels? And then, you know, all of a sudden, oh, I can experience these different things with one-handed, these dungeons I raided before with archery, I can raid with one-handed, you know? So I like Skyrim. I feel like... Skyrim, the way it's built, it does have replay value because it's a big old sandbox and it gives you many different ways of experiencing the sandbox and you figure it out the more you play it, even if it's different ways of playing it. You know, I figure out the strengths of being an archer from playing as an archer, then I realize, hey, what if I combine it with one-handed? What if I combine it with two-handed? What if I do all three where I have special weapons for every situation, you know? So that's really how I kind of look at Skyrim and its replay value. A lot of replay value, even though you don't have like Oblivion's class system or Oblivion's super defined, like Oblivion's super defined system of making a character. So I'm gonna know, let me know what you think about the video in the comments below. Guys, subscribe if you're new for more videos on Skyrim. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.